Visitors going with Jeremy Blaze in net while Josh round back between the pipes for the junior C's. But it's the other end where we'll get the first goal. Less than four minutes in, Blair bumps it in the slot, just snipes this. Junior C's take a quick one nothing lead. GP looking for the equalizer. Great pass, but even better save by round. Then stays in position to deny Lyndon Dykins again. Would prove big late in the frame. Defenseman should know by now. You can't forget about Ray. He's not missing from there. Puts Dawson up to zip with 10 seconds on the clock. And jump to the second. Grand Prairie going to get on the board. Luke Allard goes backhand. Ched just a minute and a half in. GP only down by one. Four minutes later, round stops the point shot, but Kelsey Bowman's there to shovel in the rebound. Just like that, we got a tie game. Now GP on the power play, Tyrone Kipling plays it perfect, tips this past round. Junior Canucks lead gone in just over eight minutes, now down 3-2. But two minutes later, Junior C's top line been on fire lately. Check out this play, gorgeous passing, Gee's great movement, and snipes it now, knotted up at three midway through. Now as that one's being announced, Junior Canucks back on offense, and it's Ray again off the goalie, and then home side regains their lead in 12 seconds. But less than a minute after that defensive miss, Cusack Bennett goes far side on a round. Once again, this one is tied. Great game, eh? Wouldn't be even for long, though. Ray drop pass to Spencer Gover, who rockets his top shelf. Great shot by the veteran defenseman. Junior Canucks back in front, 5-4. to four. And jump to the third puck, gets away from the skater. Still gets a shot off, but round comes up with the stop. More from the King shot here, but a rounder uses his big frame to keep it out. Then Joel Wamsteaker with the backhander. Again, round kicks out the pad to keep his team up by one. A funny moment here late in the game. Grand Prairie net empty for the extra attacker. Listen closely. Cheers. Kings bench thought it went in. Obviously didn't poor guys. As the junior Canucks are going to seal it with not one, but two empty netters. Taking this one 7-4. to four. A couple of two-point nights for the away side. But look at the junior C's. It was a Hattie and five-point night for Ray. 18 points in 10 games now. Gee's huge goal and two helpers while six other players got on the score sheet. Round back in net was real solid in the third with the Kings pressing for an equalizer. After the game, head coach Gene Cooper said when the boys are on their game, they are pretty tough to stop. A lot of keeping, keeping their boys uh, involved in the game. And when they're focused and involved in the game, they can make things happen, right? And then the ups and downs, that's what we got to try to eliminate. We knew as a group of guys that if we stayed together as a team, we'd get a few games here and there and win some. And then, you know what? We're doing good right now, but we got to keep it going and keep this momentum up and hopefully get a couple more wins.